Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to state the Chinese postman problem. But before we get to that, there is some terminology that you need to be familiar with. First, a walk is any route through a graph along a sequence of adjacent vertices. For example, I might go from I to J, and then J to H, and then H to G, then turn around and go back to H, and that would be an example of a walk. A walk can cover any or all of the edges any number of times. The only rule that you can't break with a walk is you can't go off the graph. For example, I can't go from I to J, and J to H, and then over to F. A trail is a walk with no repeated edges. I to J, and J to H, and H to G, then G to F, that would be an example of a trail. What I could not do is turn back around and go from F to G, and G back to H, and repeat a couple of the edges. That would be a walk, but it would not be a trail. It's important to understand that walks and trails can be called by other names, so check with your textbook for your class to see what terminology they use for the same concepts. Another term that we will use is the term closed. A walk or trail is called closed if it begins and ends at the same vertex. So let's take a look at an example of a closed walk. Here we have F to J, J to H, H to I, I back to J, J back to H, H to G, and G back to F. This is a closed walk because it begins and ends at F. This would not be a closed trail because it's not a trail since it has a repeated edge between J and H. Now let's talk about delivery routes as graph theory applications. Delivery routes are often represented as closed walks. Consider the task of a mail carrier to deliver to every street in two neighborhoods and return to the post office, repeating the fewest roads possible in the process to save gas and time. Roads can be represented as edges in a connected graph, with the vertices representing intersections. In this graph, we're going to let vertex P represent the post office that delivers to these two neighborhoods, west and east. Which of these is an example of a closed walk through the graph that represents a route that travels each road at least once so that all the mail gets delivered? Here is the first option. P to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to E, E to D, D to A, A to B, B to C. This is a walk, but it's not a closed walk because it begins at P but it ends at C. Let's look at option two. We have P to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to D. Well, this is not even a walk because we just went off the path. Let's look at option three. We have P to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, H to E, E to D, D to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, D back to E, and E back to P. So this is closed because it begins and ends at P. And it's a walk because it's a sequence of adjacent vertices. We didn't go off the graph. It visits each edge at least once, so each road is visited at least once. So in the context of our mail delivery problem, which two edges represent roads that were visited twice? Those would be D to E and E to P. So our mail delivery person had to do a little bit of backtracking. Sometimes this is avoidable and sometimes it's not. In this context, our goal is always to have as little backtracking as possible. And this leads us to the Chinese postman problem. The Chinese postman problem is the task of finding the shortest closed walk that visits every edge of a connected graph. The Chinese mathematician Quan Mei Ko first studied the problem. The optimal solution would have no repeated edges, but that's not always possible. So we'll settle for the fewest repeated edges that are possible. Now there's a little more terminology that we need to know in order to discuss the Chinese postman problem. A closed walk with no repeated edges is called a closed trail or circuit. For example, in this graph we have the route from F to J, J to I, I to H, H to G, and G to F. This is called a closed trail because trails have no repeated edges. But another term for the same concept 
is a circuit. This circuit would not be a solution to the Chinese postman problem. Why? Because we can't leave people without their mail. A solution has to visit every edge. In fact, the best we can do in this graph would be a closed walk that visits every edge at least once. We can't find a circuit because we would have to repeat some edges. We'd have to do some backtracking. In this case, if I continued on from J to H, in order to get back to my original vertex, I'd have to repeat G, H, and G, F. So let's get back to our example. Suppose that an additional road is built between the post office at vertex P and the entrance to the west neighborhood D. Here's an example of a closed path beginning and ending at P, which travels each edge at least once. We could go from P to E, on to F, on to G, on to H, back to E, over to D, over to A, then B, then C, then D, and back to P again. So would you say that this closed path is also a circuit? If you said yes, you're correct. Why? Well, what makes it a closed path is that it begins and ends at the same vertex, so it's closed. It didn't go off of the graph, so it's a path. And what makes it a circuit is that it also has no repeated edges to traverse any roads twice. So that's our optimal solution. They're gonna use the least amount of gas and time this way. The circuit that we just saw is an example of an Euler circuit. An Euler circuit is a circuit that visits every edge. By definition, a circuit doesn't repeat any edges. When we add the word Euler to the front of it, this means it also visits all of the edges. So if it visits all the edges and it doesn't repeat any, that means it visits every edge exactly once. Every Euler circuit visits every edge edge exactly once. So the Chinese postman problem is the task of finding a shortest closed walk that visits every edge of a connected graph. If a graph has an Euler circuit, that will always be the optimal solution. The graph we just saw has an optimal solution that is an Euler circuit. However, it's also possible to have a graph that doesn't have an Euler circuit. In the graph shown here, which shows the closed walk from the first example, the optimal solution turned out to be to cover two edges twice. That was the best we could do. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos.